Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which I will uh, show you how to organize your mesh and uh, you can say that this tutorial is uh, a second part of the previous one that we uh, were dealing uh, with the uh, projectile flow over a projectile so uh, we did this uh, analysis but uh, we made an unstructured mesh in order to uh, not go deep uh, into uh, meshing techniques but now for this time I will get deep into the uh, meshing techniques and teach you how to organize your mesh and uh, make a good uh, grid generation now don't panic when you hear uh, don't uh, confuse between uh, grid and mesh. Uh, meshing is uh, of uh, two types, uh, unstructured and structured. The structured is the grid generation. So what we are going to do now is a grid generation. So let's start by sketching our lines that we will be uh, using in order to uh, do our uh, mesh. So uh, go to sketch, go to line, start from the end here and another line from here uh, no from the end of the projectile to the up to the upper line and you make it perpendicular to it okay and another one to the bottom make sure uh, you uh, pick up the right uh, node so here we go it should give a P yes and we go down perpendicularly and now let's uh, trim the outer edges because we will not need them and let's go to concept lines from sketches click on sketch here it's 9 maybe you have it in another name so click apply after it's highlighted and click generate and here we go now uh, what we want to make use of is the face split in which uh, we will split our uh, domain into uh, four regions this is the first one, second, third, fourth. Let's start by doing this. Uh, and we are doing this in order to ma manage every region or every section alone. Now the target face we choose the whole domain, apply and the tool body. We choose uh, one edge per every face split. Okay, so generate now we go and we do this again we will do it four times tool geometry click on edge and click on the next one apply generate and now you notice we have two sections which is not enough we should also do it uh, two more times Go to face split. Now this region, we will take it alone. Okay, and uh, this edge. Now let's split it too, and we generate it. Now we go again the last time to face split, and we choose the last region. Target face press apply, and the tool geometry. We should choose the same line here okay generate now we finished here we go to line bodies and we suppress them in order uh, not to see uh, them inside uh, not to see them projected inside the uh, empty space here which is the projectile because we do not want uh, the such lines to bother us when we are doing our mesh and we go to save and then we go to meshing and double click now let's go to mesh and uh, generate the default mesh which is a good practice to do it 
and as you see it's unstructured and uh, very low resolution so let's start to manage this the first thing we will do is to let's zoom in here and we will uh, uh, fix uh, the edges here of the uh, projectile so let's uh, go on edges click and let's click on the first edge upper one and the second one or the uh, portion of the ellipse and let's go to insert sizing and let's make it number of divisions the type and let's make it of type uh, sorry the number of divisions let's make it 40 since this is a small edge and as you see it's uh, discretized into 40 elements which will uh, uh, shed uh, which will spread lines toward the uh, portion of the circle here and uh, the same thing uh, we will do for the next edges but before let's choose the behavior to be hard in order for the software uh, not to intervene when uh, uh, it is programmed uh, for example to change something when uh, a particular situation of the mesh occurs so we choose hard in order to uh, fix our uh, mesh to our sizing to our number of divisions to our bias for example so that the software will change nothing so now let's go to the next side uh, to the symmetric uh, edges and let's do the same we go to sizing and we go to number element size which is number of divisions and we choose the same number of divisions 40 and we choose the same behavior hard and no need to bias because it's already in the uh, in the uh, uh, on the edge of the projectile so now let's think we need to make a face mesh in order to organize the grids so let's uh, face mesh the portions so I think we can get rid of uh, the errors uh, face meshing, also this one insert face meshing, and the last one insert face meshing, and let's generate. Let's go to mesh, and it started to be organized, but uh, still need to be still of low resolution on this side, and it still need to have. Uh, some uh, improvements so let's go now and choose uh, edge sizing for uh, the following side for the following edge in the middle so let's click on edges and size this edge go to insert sizing and number of divisions so let's make it a number of divisions 200 since it's a long side a long edge and uh, behavior to hard and bias we needed to bias towards the uh, uh, projectile so we choose uh, this type and we put the bias factor of let's say six okay now we do the same for this edge let's uh, size it element size number of divisions let's go and make it 100 change it to hard also and go to bias type and bias it toward the uh, projectile we choose this type and we choose 6 and let's see how things will look for now okay that's uh, good now you may want uh, you may you may feel that this is enough for you however I will uh, make more approaches uh, since this is a tutorial specifically for mesh uh, what I will do is uh, I will go to edges and uh, size uh, these ones modify these edges so that they uh, be become compatible with this one so, so I will uh, insert sizing and number of divisions 
I'll make it 200, the same of the uh, center line, hard, and no need to bias. And the reason why is that uh, I want to have uh, a shape uh, like uh, lines going up from here, the biased uh, points are toward the projectile and the center line, so they will go up in this direction. So let's see how this will look and after we finish the second uh, edge so this is the second edge and we change to number of divisions number of divisions 200 also we change to hard and no need to bias so let's take a look how this will appear that's cool and uh, now I want to fix uh, here this region here the reason why you see these and you don't see them uh, small elements like their neighbors is uh, that uh, I will show you how it's that uh, here we didn't discretize uh, these, uh, uh, this this uh, region this uh, edge of the uh, projectile so let's uh, uh, manage them and let's go to one two let's do them together sizing and uh, number of divisions and let's choose 10 as number of divisions it's a small edge and hard okay no need to bias and let's generate and let's look at how this will be and that's so beautiful as you see it's organized and this is the approach that I wanted to show you and this is the grid generation as you see the circle the half circle is organized the all the portions are organized and here you need to you will have uh, more accurate results since more elements are uh, involved in uh, the regions where you will see the flow here so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed see you in the later tutorials